Hello and welcome to Mark and Kelly's Trips, Tips and Things. So today I'm going to be cooking from the official Friends Cookbook. Today we're going to be making Egg Salad Chandler. This is based on the episode where Eddie moves in with Chandler and Joey asks him whose eggs do you prefer? So whose eggs are we going to prefer? Anyway, let's get cooking. Before we do, please like, share and subscribe to this video. Okay, let's go. Okay then, so here are the ingredients. Now as you can see, there are very few ingredients to egg salad chandler, so this is quite a simple recipe. So we're going to need uh, four slices of sourdough bread, and I'm going for the sourdough, so I've got a good quality sourdough bread. You could use regular, but let's go for something a bit nicer. Um, we will need two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and that's going to be partly a bit extra for buttering the bread but we also need a little bit here for frying and I'll come on to that. Uh, we're going to need four eggs which we've got here and we're going to need some salt and pepper for a little bit of seasoning and we're going to finish off with a couple of teaspoons of uh, pesto. Now the recipe or the uh, friend's cookbook actually has a recipe for pesto but I'm going to use jar pesto which it says you can use just for simpl simplicity. But there you are, that is it. Look at that. Very few ingredients for egg salad chandler, which I like because it's going to make it nice and simple. Okay, let's get cooking. Okay, so what I've done, I put my bread out here on the plate, as you can see. Now, I've realised here with the sourdough, what the recipe says is that I need to have this bread into uh, three inch diameter squares. Sorry, sorry, into two inch slices. Okay. Now, I realised as well that the actual slice of bread itself is actually quite thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to half these, so that's roughly around the, the sort of diameter I want. There we go. And the next thing I need to do then is put the cookie cutter, or get a cookie cutter, and then put a hole in the middle here, and that's where your egg's gonna sit. Now, although I've got four eggs here, if you only want two, just do two, or as many as you want. Um, but for now I'm doing the two I'm going to put in there. And this is the cutter I've got. Now the idea is you want the cutter to be of fit inside that bread. So they recommend about three inches in diameter. So this is about two and a half though. This one here is slight because my bread is slightly small. Okay. Um, the other bit they want you to do is actually butter both sides of this bread. Now to save time and I am probably going to eat the middle me being me I'm going to actually butter it then cook it uh then sorry butter it then cut it rather rather than cut it first but let's give that a go okay here we go okay that's the first side let's do the second side Okay, there we go. So we've buttered both sides and I've done them generously as well. So you want to get a lot of butter on there. You can see where we're going with this. We won't need much oil to fry because we've already got the butter on both sides. Right, let's get the cutting. So we're going to cut a hole in each of these slices of bread. There we go. Got our little hole in our bread. Um, like I said, try and get them as central as you can. That's going to obviously hold that egg, egg in there. Um, I'm going to keep this bread though. That's going to be a nice little dip for my eggs a la chandler. Right, we've done that part. Let's get cooking. Okay, so the recipe says to start off and put our pan on the high. So I'm putting it on high. I don't always like putting it on high, but I'm going to put it on high. And uh, put in a little knob of butter. So that's going to help us fry. Now I know we've got the uh, bread butter, but this is just going to add a little bit here. All right. Just to help it going. And then what I'm going to do, you can see that's starting to heat up. I'm going to put in our bread. So I can probably put in that two at a time.
just about look you can see that okay and I'm going to put a tiny knob of butter in each of the holes there and this is going to help that egg cook and they do say fried egg does taste better with a little bit of butter it helps it crisp up a little bit so let me put a knob of butter in there in it goes Mmm, that smell of cooking butter. Right. Okay, now I'm going to crack open the eggs. In goes one. I can't believe I got that first one. And there's my hand covering it. Let me try that again. I'll try and do it so you can see. Okay. It's very difficult not to cover. There. Oh, look at that. I split that little. And it has run a little bit. But that's okay. That's okay. Right. So let that cook for about a minute on the high. That's going to fry. And then what we're going to do is we are going to flip it over. So give that about one minute. And then we'll do the flip. Okay, so I'm going to turn the temperature down a little bit just because it's starting to smoke, so medium high. Now we're going to give it a good old flip. Here we go. All right, let's see if I can get this without ruining it. Oh, yes. That's one. Come on, come on. Two. Right, so we're going to let this cook for another three minutes, okay? So that's going to try and cook all the way through. Okay, let's go. Okay, there they are. So I've done them, let me just flip them over so you can see. There. Now I did these for actually for two minutes. Now if you want them to be quite runny, you're gonna do them for a little less. You could do them one minute each side, but this is just so, these are, will be well done. If you want them runny, you wanna do them for slightly less time. But those are good to go. I did turn the heat down, so it does say, put the heat up high first, then go down to medium medium high so don't go too too high on these or they will burn right i'm going to do these i'm going to put these in the pan i'm going to do two more then we're going to be ready for our next step okay let's go okay and there you have it so we've got our eggs a la chandler here and for a little bit of extravagance the recipe doesn't tell you to do this but i thought i'd give it a go is i actually fried up the bread that was in the circle hole um, and that looks gorgeous and crispy brown almost like a crouton Right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to put the salt and pepper on. So really season these up. There we are. Okay, and then it does say put on a couple of teaspoons of pesto. And the idea is we're going to drizzle this just over there. So I'm not very good at drizzling, so I'm just going to put like a teaspoon on each. Give it a good smearing. There we go. So that's one on there, one on there. Bit of pesto on there. And the second batch I did as well, which I didn't film, these two um, eggs a la, a la chandler here. So I did them for slightly under, so just uh, a minute and a half on each side. And I can feel that's just slightly soft, which is what I wanted to try. Okay, there you have it. Eggs a la Chandler. Got our sourdough, our egg uh, with uh, butter, and of course we put our salt and pepper on top and our pesto. Right, let's give these a go. I'm really looking forward to trying these. Um, let me just grab my knife and my fork. Here we go. Here we go, eggs a la Chandler. Mmm, that's actually really nice. Um, that pesto, I've never had pesto on eggs before. 
and that is really really good it does have like a breakfasty taste to it and it's got I don't know how to describe it it's just it's a really really fresh clean taste um, I really like that that's really good I would definitely make that again as you can see as well very minimal ingredients bread eggs butter and obviously your salt pepper and pesto that is eat so it makes a very quick easy breakfast uh, I will try again if I make this recipe again perhaps to slightly underdo the eggs so, so, so they're running just to give it that edge that one I made was slightly um, harder boil but still really really nice while I'm here let me just try the crouton mmm fried bread in butter delicious that is so good I know the recipe doesn't call for it but I would definitely recommend frying those as well mmm anyway I hope you enjoyed that I certainly enjoyed making it a uh, really quick easy meal for a breakfast or snack um, as always please like share and subscribe this video helps us make more and helps me um, get a little bit bigger as well each time uh, there we are you had it eggs a la Chandler that's it for Mark and Kelly's trips sits and things uh, and remember you're never too old to have fun take care bye